This is Salamancer, you were watching Sal TV, and if somebody came up to me looking like this and said, hey, I want to heal you, I'm pretty sure I would just kind of run away. But we do have an... Oh, crap. We have an absolutely awesome game today between the Dead Hand Gang. And that is going to be in the blue versus that so rando in the red. And these teams, I mean, these are at the top of intermediate at the time this game was played. Uh, the Dead Hand Gang was at 4-1, and that's so Rando was at 5-0, oh, so we'll see what happens. So far, the mid-fight looking pretty good for the Dead Hand Gang for the moment. Rando going down as well, and so when you lose the star player of your team who was named after, that could be a problem. Um, and, of course, using that new HUD today that is uh, finally, I think, out of development, so let me know what you guys think about it, whether you think it's any good or any bad or whatever. And it does look like... Uh, our blue team here, the Dead Hand Gang, gonna take the point. So let's go down their roster just a bit. Uh, you guys can see that this is a star-studded game here in TF2 Intermediate ESEA. Justin, of course, who was on the experiment for a little while. Amazing Scout, actually. Yep, playing Scout again. We've got a oh, nice little Uber here coming from Gimme Your Bling Bling, a.k.a. DJC. This is actually Dear John Carter, who just loves at changing his name all the time. Um... But we do have, yeah, the Dead Hand Gang with Justin, Memphis Vaughn, and finally DJC does die, but we're going to have to see, uh, actually, that's so rando, retreating the last. Um, Memphis Vaughn, who was on Area 51 and invite a couple seasons ago, we have quite a few other players, and so we're going to see whether the Dead Hand Gang can successfully push in the last. So far, big AC on the Demo Man, not looking too shabby there with the damage he did force an Uber out of that's so rando, and... The entire rando team is probably going to have to well, Looks like they've done okay. They're, this is a nice push out. Uh, and Gully Wash is actually one of those maps where it's a little bit easier than others to push out of your last point. There's not all that much distance to cover. And so once your opponents, you know, make a mistake or whatever, you can really take advantage of it. Unlike on, say, Badlands or Granary, where, uh, you know, if you fail pushing last, it's very easy to, to make another attempt. It does look like we do have a charge coming out of Ben. Jump in. Oh, that's why. I thought it was jamming for a second, but no, it turns out their uh, their tag <laughs> their tag is, is Jamin for Benjamin. Anyway, um, Ben, of course, from Avoided a couple seasons ago, if you remember that, and it does look like uh, the Dead Hand Gang getting the upper hand of that. So the Uber just now finishing. Big AC, you gotta be a little careful about this scout, but there you go. It's gonna be Justin sneaking up behind him and finishing him off. And yeah, these guys are definitely looking... Uh-oh. Like they're going to get back capped, but they're looking like a very, very strong team right now, and uh, this is the kind of team that if they stay together might go into invite if they want to. I don't know if they really want to, like a lot of these guys were in invite in the past, and sometimes they just kind of don't like the pressure of being in that highest level, so they uh, they do try to stick to like the top of intermediate or even open sometimes, but who knows, who knows. Um, and the only person on the Dead Hand Gang that I didn't really know who he was was uh, R-Lines. I've seen him before, but he actually... Uh, let's see, he he hasn't played a lot of ESEA up until this season, so uh, he played in Season 3 through 6 on various teams, you can check that out on his ESEA page, but actually did not play in any of the seasons that I have shoutcasted up until now, so uh, our lines, welcome to the Salamancer TV channel, <laughs> and uh, looks like he's going to be going pretty huge this game, so... Meanwhile, on that so rando, you see a lot of familiar names as well. Some of them may be slightly different than you are used to, like Loronix, for instance, on the scout. Loronix was on Leviathan Gaming a couple seasons ago, and he's actually going to try and sneak around behind the Dead Hand gang. Uh, Dead Hand does pop the Uber, though. Technosex hanging out behind the point, or beneath, I'm sorry, this little, uh, this little area. And so far, nobody dying yet. And Loronix just going actually for a back cap, so I like that. Uh, Technosex has played a lot of uh, TF2 Pug NA and all that stuff. And Loronix now getting some trouble, but he did at least force the Dead Hand Gang back to try and defend that second point. A very wise thing to do. Plus, he is still forcing them to stay farther back than they want to, because at any time he could come in for another back cap. He has finally uh, backed off a little bit, but now helping the rest of his team push right back out. That's going to be That's So Rando taking their second point again with Big AC and Justin both down. Uh, and there's just, well, there's not really an Uber advantage for either team right now. They're, they're close enough that it doesn't matter. Um, and Ben actually, what did he play? Did he play Scout with RR? I want to say he played Scout or Soldier. Uh, apparently now playing the Medic. So I, I wonder if that's a new role for him. I'm sure he has played all of these classes before in competitive settings because he is a competitive player. But right now, that's Sorando sitting back on mid once again. Uh, with 
Shreki, Technosex, ran out. Shreki, of course, who was on HRG for invites at the, uh, at the last season's LAN. Rando, who has actually played quite a lot of TF2 over the years. Uh, I know I've shoutcasted a lot of his stuff before. In fact, may have done one of his other games just very recently. Uh, and apparently he and Kapow have been playing together for a while. I checked their rosters, and those two played together for quite a long time. So they probably know how to play off each other pretty well. Kapow on the demo man this time around. And then so far, it's uh, getting to be a little bit of stalemate here at the mid area. Both teams do have 100% uber, and that's so rando kind of... Actually pushing in right now, they are bringing Trekkie forward. They, wow, really, really good uh, holding on to that uber. Trekkie could have taken just a bit more damage and actually dropped it, but uh, popped exactly the right time there, and is now going to retreat. So what they've done here is they've forced their opponents to pop their uber, but they have lost Rando. They were hoping to get at least one kill during all that, and they are really, there you go, they finally are able to follow it up with big AC down. Taking down the demo man, a huge deal. Now their uh, scouts can get in, do some damage. Their soldiers can jump all over the place and not worry about those sticky traps lying around. So, actually, that's so Rando. Going to come in here and conquer the point. So they were, they've defended their last a couple different times here, and they it's really surprising to see how they push out because they don't really wait for their opponents to wipe uh, on, on an attack on last. You know, they, they kind of are like, oh, you're going to come in and attack? That's great. We're going to have somebody back cap. I mean, they're just really aggressive with this. So... Uh, that's going to be Trekkie and the rest of the That's So Rando team pushing into last of their opponents now. Memphis Vaughn on the heavy. Justin doing exactly the same sort of aggression out here, actually. So they're both teams look like they really want to be aggressive, trying to push out two second. And DJC, <laughs> it looks like he was having trouble with his mic there. Or, I'm sorry, not mic, mouse. Um, because he seemed to have a little bit of problems. But it does look like our defending team here going to try and get the kill on Trekkie. And they do, but will it matter? I don't actually know, uh, as Benjamin, the only one left alive for most to defend that point. There you go. So they, they did take down Trekkie, the scouts focusing down the medic. But at that point, like when they're already pushing into last and there isn't really even an uber to speak of, sometimes uh, the medic is actually kind of a distraction. And there you go. That's going to be round one in favor of that so rando. You see Kapow here taking this left-hand side um, semi-passive rollout. He does take some high ground, and he's actually not laying any defensive sticky. He just wants to immediately start doing damage. So that's, um, you know, looked like a passive rollout. Turns out it wasn't at all. And all the damage coming in, our lines, DJC, both gone down. The That's So Rando team looking quite impressive here on this mid-fight. They have captured it. They have not killed Ben, but Ben is the only one left alive for his team. He's just taken a couple of pot shots over there, trying to prevent these scouts from chasing him down and killing him. He does have Justin coming to defend him now, so he will be safe for the moment, trying to build that Uber up. And he'll actually have the Uber before Trekkie. The problem is, uh, I don't know whether they can really use it, because pushing out from here is so scary. Memphis Vaughn right now on the spy, so he is really taking his role of... Is he roaming soldier, maybe? Maybe could also be our lines on roaming soldier. I actually can't tell right now. So he's using... Uh oh uh oh uh oh Okay. That was scary. But it looks like there won't be any spam for a while. So he is completely invisible. This soldier cannot tell he's there. Not spamming any rockets means... Uh, I think that soldier's actually trying to go for like a, a little bit of a ambush play of his own. You, you see how the That's So Rando team is just kind of sitting here right now. It's not paused, but they're trying not to make any noise because they they don't realize that a spy is watching them, so uh, they don't want to give away their positions. Thing is, all their positions are given away, and so I, I bet they're wondering, well, why aren't they being aggressive on us right now? Turns out it's because Memphis Vaughn is telling it where your entire team is. <laughs> what? What? Did Kapow even see that? I don't think he saw that. That was a completely blind detonation, and Memphis Vaughn has got to just be like, oh, come on. Anyway, here comes the Uber right now from Netso Rando, and I do expect them to be able to take this. They are going to take down the Sentry. Haven't actually gotten any other kills, though, and Gully Watch Last is so hard to push into that if they don't get those kills, that can be a big problem. Uh, so it looks like the Uber for the Dead Hand Gang is going to save that point for now. Uh, they need to get it. Maybe, yeah, they've gotten the kill, so they just need to get out there and cap the point. Now, Trekkie has managed to get some health and run away. And so the Dead Hand Gang going to push out Allied. and Our take their second point. point. Is being captured. It's a lot of aggression, actually, so they're not too worried about uh, spies anymore. I don't even think they realize it. I would be very surprised if they knew that Memphis Vaughn was on the spy. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Because I don't think they saw him at all. It looks like that's so rando. Take some hits over here in the choke point, but there it's not going to matter too much. And I do like that little trap there. Uh, if anybody tries to walk in over it, is that visible from like 
no, it's really not until you walk right on it. That's an interesting little trap there. So we'll see if Kapow actually manages to catch anybody with it. Just going to try and spam a couple of pills over there. And, of course, at this point, you know, when you're a demo man and you've got a trap set up like that, you, you know, you're, you're really proud of it. And you don't want to lay down any other stickies because it kind of, you know, it ruins your trap. So he's pretty much just going to be using, I think, uh, pills for the moment. But it looks like, actually, there will be no aggression from the Dead Hand Gang. So, that's a rando going to start pushing in and just laying down some damage. Kapow, um, thinking about pushing up there, but I guess maybe that's so rando have all decided not to take the flank push. They didn't like what they saw, so backed up. And that is a, that's a really impressive feat of decision making sometimes. If you, well, it looks like they actually do like what they see now, so they, they're re-attempting this push, and this time around it's probably going to work a lot better. Um, but you know, if your team just like you try to push in somewhere, you, just, you leave yourself an exit so that if it's like, oh, we don't like this, uh, then you can get away and maybe pick a different angle of attack or wait for your opponents to do something or whatever. But right now, really brutal fight. Both medics are down. It's just one scout. Uh, this is Justin against two. And as good as Justin is, he is not going to be able to take on two scouts like Loronix and Shit on My Chest. And just so you guys know, Shit on My Chest has played a lot of ESEA. Uh, he was on HRG in Season 9 and 8. And then he swapped rosters in Season 9 to go on to Treason. He was a backup for HRG last season, Season 10, when they went to LAN. And he is now playing an Intermediate. And I know I've seen this guy in Pugs, too. So uh, I, I do know that he is a decently skilled scout. Definitely capable of some awesome deathmatch feats. But pretty much everybody in this game is. This is like the top of Intermediate right now. These guys have the winningest records in their division. And it shows. These, a lot of them, you know, have some invite-studded rosters. And so they, they very much have a lot of experience in TF2. Technosex looking like he just wants to take a couple of pot shots there, but doesn't want to take any damage. And that is a Kritzkrieg. Memphis Vaughn taking a crit sticky and actually did not die from it. So you got to like that. And wow, the, my this new HUD like makes crit stickies look crazy, doesn't it? So didn't even realize that was going on. But whoa, lots of damage coming in from Technosex and uh, actually everybody now who came into this point. And that's so rando. Gonna go up two to zero. Let's see, there we go. That is quite an impressive round there. That they popped in with the crits and didn't really do any damage with that. But then the rest of their players came in during the chaos and just cleaned up. We didn't even get to see what was happening exactly. So my bad on that camera work. But uh, that's so rando looking really really strong right now and it, it's a little bit surprising just because of the players who are on the dead hand gang i'm like wow these players are all amazing but then so is the rando team and kapow doing some excellent work right now takes down our lines that is the first casualty of this mid fight and he's really doing some great dodging too now he's gonna have to deal with a scout here and does end up dying to big ac but not before he's gotten two kills it's just that it wasn't enough for his team to finish up so that is going to be Big AC and Team Jammin, a.k.a. the Dead Hand Gang, getting this midpoint win. And they have won a couple of midfights. Well, they've won one midfight. There's only been two midfights. So they've won one, and they've lost one. But the one that they won... <laughs> Am I confusing you yet? The one that they won, uh, they ended up trying to push in the last couple times and pretty much failing. So we'll see if they can actually make something happen this time around. Loronix on the sniper did get taken down, and Ben does have a huge uber advantage. So... Loronix, I mean, that was kind of a desperate play there, going for, my gosh, these these stickies on this HUD have, like, light coming out of them. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. Anyway, uh, it does look like this is going to be a pretty typical, like, Uber versus non-Uber push, and there you go. That's exactly what it is. Uh, Loronix was going out there trying to go on the sniper just because it was a desperation play, really. Yeah, look at that. There's, like, light coming out of these sticky bombs. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that, but, I mean, it's cool. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little distracted by the new HUD, but it's a cool HUD, and I do recommend it. So if you guys want to know where it is, I will try to put a link in the description and on my channel. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, it was a desperation play to see if they couldn't get a pick on the meta. Again, they couldn't, so that was pretty much that round. Uh, Big AC going to deal some good damage there with a pill to that scout, just trying to keep him locked away from that elbow area, and he does. So it's killing the Ronix. They lose their medic but pretty much only shit on my chest left alive. And boom, he is gone too. So just going to take a little nap on the job there. And that means that that's so rando. Going to have a little bit of trouble. They aren't... I don't think they're going to lose their second point very quickly unless there's already a sticky trap out here, which there is not. So Technosex playing the pocket for the moment. Uh, but it looks like he actually doesn't want to do that. 
wants to abandon his medic there because I think it is supposed to be rando on the pocket, potentially. Um, let me see, what, what's Techno wearing here? Yeah, he's, he's got the gunboats. He's their roamer, for sure. And I've seen him play a lot of roamer before. Pretty darn good at it. So let's see here. He's going to uh, launch in over on the flanks. But at this point, I mean, everybody from... Or almost everybody from Dead Hand Gang was, had escaped at that point because they knew they were going to have a slight uber disadvantage or want to lose this middle point. Wow, look at that. Actually, a crit screen coming in. Maybe they didn't know about that, but whoa, double crits. Hold on. Both teams using the crit screen. Wacky, wacky stuff here, and that does mean that it's now three versus three. I mean, no invulnerability means it is going to start to get brutal. And even Kapow, lol crits battle. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. And so I don't think either team realized the other was using crits. And so they both popped in. They were both like, whoa, wait a minute. Holy crap. Um, and so, of course, uh, that was... Which team lost even their demo man first? I don't even remember. I think it was, uh, it was actually that so rando losing Kapow during that crits fight. But both, both teams completely lost a bunch of players. So that is the Dead Hand Gang capturing mid once again. And they will have another shot at tying this game up, which they should be able to do. It does look like both our scouts are going to go over to the flank, as uh, as you would expect. And once again, here comes a crit screen, taking down Technosex right away, but they've got to be careful. Uh, scout bombing in, and there is the counter crits. Can they do anything with this counter crits, though? Trekkie and Kapow actually getting a little bit outplayed here. They did some damage towards the end of that, taking down Memphis Vaughn and DJC. But by this point, it might be too late, as Big AC is in a great position to take down both enemy players who were too focused on trying to take down the medic to take down Big AC. So that is a nice little wipeout for the Dead Hand Gang, and they should be able to push in and capture, should be able to tie this game up. Uh, you do see the scores up there. The scores are a little small in this HUD. I've, I've, I've issued that complaint, but uh, hopefully that does get taken care of. And you can see him. And look at the points in this game, too, the, the differential between teams, actually. The Dead Hand Gang is looking really, really solid uh, points-wise. So it's surprising, actually, that Rando is uh, ahead in the game at the moment. I guess they just don't worry too much about the kills. They worry about the captures. And we are going to see pretty soon. Oh, Justin actually goes down. Dead Hand Gang is going to have to deal with a Pyro in here as well. And that Pyro is Laronix. Oh, a nice uh, Kritzkrieg here going in. They're taking down Rando and Trekkie down as well. Trekkie unable to dodge it. So that's going to mean that Big AC gets to walk in on the point, lay down some stickies, take down his opposing demo man, and that is that. Everybody wipes out on defense. So it is tied. The Dead Hand Gang versus That's So Rando in the first half. 2-2 two to two with 12 minutes left to go. I would expect to see uh, a, you know, a relatively short round. Gully Wash can give you some really long rounds, but this time around it does not seem to be doing that. And one scout going underneath. Shit on my chest. Actually taking a little bit of a sticky jump there before dying to our lines. Laronix is in some trouble as well. Pretty lit up, and that is going to get called out. So he's got to be very careful, but he does get some heals. Taking heals from the medic at that point is actually not a great thing because the medic, as you're backing up, I mean, that's pretty much what that so Rando is doing. They're backing away from this fight because they realize they lost too many players. But as your medic is backing up, he wants to keep his uh, his high damage classes alive most of the time, um, high HP, because that gives him more of an opportunity to retreat than a scout who is just very, very fragile. So another crit's coming in, but this time around it is blocked by an uber from Trekkie. Not a lot of damage coming from the Kritzkrieg at all. Trying to go for a couple air shots on those scouts, but it's not going to work. And so the Kritzkrieg may not have been a wise choice here, as uh, it might have even been... Whoa! Lots of damage just came into like three players at once. They might have been stacked up. Trekkie and both of the scouts actually went down to very, very low health, but they did not die. Big AC, the only man left alive for his team. Where is he going to... He's got to be laying some sticky traps here. Um, and it looks like he did somewhere. Uh, I don't see them, though, so maybe not... No, okay, he's just now starting. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about, but whatever it was, I'm sure it was not important. Anyway, the the Kritzkrieg... Oh, oh, that's right. I thought maybe it actually got called out, so Trekkie and the rest of his team backed out trying to preserve their Uber against that Kritz, and that was a really wise idea, as now they are pushing in towards their enemies last. Just some great decision-making overall by, by both teams, but especially by that Sorando. And with that decision making, they have the crits, they pop in immediately, don't want to have to deal with sticky traps, anything that's going to kill them, so the Ubers popped right away. Uh, DJC's down, 
Our line's down. The heavy going to die as well, and that means there's only a demo man left. Uh, there is a sniper who I think did just take down. Yeah, that's Justin taking down Trekkie, but it's going to be too late. That's so Rando gets the capture. Justin unable to defend quite enough, and that was an excellent half. All right, Kapow, show us your stuff. Show us your rollouts. It is, of course, 3-2. to two. That's so Rando up at the half. But this is an extremely close game. It could go either way, and I am enjoying it immensely. So we will see exactly what happens here at this mid-fight, as that's so Rando going to start dealing some crazy damage. Memphis Vaughn, very, very low on health right now. And shit on my chest is actually... Was the first or second person to die? Memphis, not long after. And oh, I wish that had been an air shot. Not quite, though. Kapow maybe needs to practice those, you know, popped-up scout air shots just a little bit more. Just kidding. I have no idea how he would do that. Uh, and he's getting pressured now by a scout. That was a beautiful job by Justin jumping in and killing him. So only one scout left. Is he going to play spoiler? No, he actually, I think, may have been a respawner. So, oh, he is going to go for a little bit of an ambush here. But this is a rather obvious spot. A lot of players uh, realize that this is going to happen. And so he backs away from that pretty wise to do. What he was really looking for was just in case anybody got overly aggressive after that fight, uh, he wanted to see if he couldn't take advantage of like one person going off by himself to try to capture the second point. And once he realized that wasn't going to happen, and that everybody was pretty much playing very close together on the Dead Hand Gang, uh, he ran back away from it. So Team That's So Rando going to be back onto their last point. They also have an uber disadvantage. I would expect to see... Uh, the Dead Hand Gang pushing in and destroying, although they did just lose DJC, so one soldier already down. They don't want to lose a super advantage, but I think they're going to have to, because once you lose actually a soldier and a scout, yeah, there's no way they can do anything about this now. They have to stay back, and they will, I mean, you know, as long as they keep, whoa, so really aggressive pyro, Leronix, but there's a back cap going on. It is so close right now. Whoa, and Uber's all over the place, so this is some aggressive play here by That's So Rando, really deciding that they do not want to um, give up last without a solid fight over second, and they're actually getting a couple nice kills. Ben does take down shit on my chest with the uh, needle gun, that overdose that is so awesome, but is it going to be enough here? I think That's So Rando... Uh going to have to defend their last for a little while, so yeah, Ben actually keeping himself alive, maintaining a bit of an uber. He won't have an advantage, but they will be pushing in with that pretty soon. I do like the way that Serrano defends their last point. Now, it's Gully Wash is an easy one to, to even just turtle up and defend properly. Like, you can see, you know, Engineer, Heavy, Pyro doing really well on this last point. But that, that's the Rando team. Their defensive... Uh, strategy seems to more revolve around just getting really, really super aggressive against this team, and it seems to be working most of the time. They can't do it anymore. Uh, there are sticky traps all over the place, and their opponents have a very, very firm setup here in the Gully Wash lobby, so there won't be any more uh, crazy back caps, I don't think. Although, look at this once again. Leronix just really uh, super aggressive trying to run into his last point, but I think at this point now, uh, Memphis is going to lead in... Well, no, he's not going to lead in the charge, so the charge actually coming in from this way. Trekkie is in a little bit of trouble, but he does pop the uber and so keeps his team alive to defend for a little while. That's uh, Rando really turtling up here and doing it nicely. I definitely am about to sneeze here, but hopefully that feeling goes away pretty soon. Uh, ben and Justin, the only ones left. Are they going to be able to get this capture? Justin coming in with the pistol. He is completely un... Oh no, he did have most of his shots loaded. Just decided he didn't want to use them. And not quite able to kill Trekkie. In fact, did he even do any damage? He might have, but Trekkie was standing on a health pack. So Team That's So Rando is going to push out once again and capture their second point. The, the turtly defense they had there, along with just confusing their opponents, seems to be quite an effective strategy. And that was like the world's uh, shortest pause there. Apparently it was just because Trekkie was lagging. Things happen. But That's So Rando capturing their second point again after a successful defense, and I think that's been the main difference between these teams so far. Both teams have amazing DM, both teams have really good, solid um, strategy decision-making skills. The defense on last point for that so rando just seems more coordinated and better than the defense for Dead Hand Gang, I, in my unprofessional opinion. So I'm sure there are other differences as well that I'm just totally missing. But who knows? Wow, big aggression though by that Sorano taking down the medic right away. They have not uh, lost theirs yet. Although Trekkie unable to heal for the moment, he does finally get with Kapow. They will have to back up because they're at risk of a back cap right now. There's three enemies and there's only uh -huh. one person on that Sorano who's really going to be able to deal a lot of damage. Um, 
So actually, no wait, they, do they even, no, yeah, they are getting a back half. That is not good for that Sarando. Now, Trekkie does take down our lines. Nice little kill there, but Kapow is down. So if, uh, if the Dead Hand Gang wants to push forward, they totally can. There is no sticky trap to stop them, and that is what they're going to do. They realize they're opponent. I, I say that every time. The opposing demo man is down. So, uh, they realize that there will be no sticky traps. They can try to push in. They lose Memphis Vaughn, though, and now that the demo is back up, it is 6v5. So, that's so random. I'm sorry, the Dead Hand Gang are going to back up a little bit here. And they will be sitting pretty, pretty far back, actually. Ben almost has his Uber, but he doesn't want to get forced too early by a big jump from an uh, aggressive soldier. So... He does back up. He's going to try and milk this for a little while. And now that they have popped the Uber, they have to stay in and try to defend the point, which I think they should be able to do successfully. Uh, Trekkie does get out for now, but he starts to lose some of his players, including probably Loronix here. He did lose another scout, but no, Loronix is going to... Uh, no, he's going to die. Okay, I thought he was going to get Memphis Vaughn. Turns out Memphis is just a sneaky, sneaky player getting underneath that little uh, drop-down area on the official version of Gully Wash. And there goes Trekkie, so that is exactly what the Dead Hand Gang needs. They are going to push forward here, capturing the second point. And I understand that, soldier. I totally understand that. So they are now going to be able to just walk up behind me and grab at my shoulders. <laughs> All right, Justin apparently has a girl. Look, look, everybody, this guy has a girlfriend. <laughs> Techno sex, love it. Uh, but, uh, no, anyway, that's um, apparently why Justin is or did die at that point. So, that's the Rando now backed up to the last point, and pretty much the Dead Hand Gang I should have a decent time of trying to push into this. A tough last point to push into, so they need to get an early pick. Uh, right now they are going with the cookie cutter classes of the, you know, the two soldiers, two scouts, demo and medic. Sometimes it does pay to bring in like a sniper or a spy or something for this last, but uh, these guys are fairly confident in their normal cookie cutter skills, so they are going to try and push in just with this, not make any sort of suicide plays for the moment. Um, oh, that's actually interesting. So here's another thing about this HUD that I just realized we can't see overheals very effectively. That is a problem, so I'm going to have to uh, gonna have to lodge a formal complaint with the HUD maker, but pretty soon it will be totally ironed out. And this attack not working very well for the Dead Hand Gang at all. So once again, team that's a rando with a solid, solid defense. They are going to have to watch out for backup from Big AC and uh, Memphis Vaughn and Ben? No. Okay, so Big AC's gone. That does mean pretty much they can push out and take that second point. Once again, that's the Rando saying, nope, we are a solid defensive team. And they really have hardly given up any points at all right now. It is, I think it's still 3-2. to two. It is still 3-2. to two. That's the Rando still in the lead. I was thinking Dead Hand Gang could tie this up again, but so far their offense in the last is just not been cohesive, they've not gotten the kills that they need, and so, whoa, I just heard Trekkie drive an Uber, I'm pretty sure you heard that too, didn't get to see it sadly, but Rando now down, a Trekkie down, so that's a Rando losing a big Uber advantage that they had, um, probably to, was that to Justin maybe, I don't even remember, I really need to read the kill feed a little better, but at least kill feed looks good, and right now, that's so Rando is going to start taking, oh, <laughs> there was a sticky trap from Kapow again, but uh, yeah, that's so Rando going to start taking a lot of damage here if they're not careful, they did manage to knock out Big AC though, and Memphis Vaughn is in some trouble here as well, DJC, I'm sorry, Big A, yeah, DJ, okay, I'm confused, uh, but DJC, wow, 10 health left before that Uber was popped on him to save his butt. He's going to get out here and start trying to capture the point. Probably no, actually going for Trekkie, and he does manage to take him down. Rando gone as well. Justin coming in to help do the damage there. And so suddenly the aggression for the Rando team is not looking all that amazing. So the amazing Rando needs to maybe come up with another strategy. Because suddenly this aggression from Rando is getting a little bit, uh, a little bit too disjointed. Like we saw basically just the medic and soldier there getting pressured down by DHC and Justin. And they were, I mean, they were out of position. That's all there is to say about that. The Dead Hand Gang uh, uh, taking advantage of spotting the enemy medic out of position and just immediately going for it. So they will push in and have another chance to tie this game up, which I think they should be able to do. They are going to have an Uber just slightly faster than Trekkie. We'll see if they can build it quickly enough, though, because right now, no, Memphis Vaughn actually down and Justin again. So 
they're gonna, uh, yeah, no. They're gonna have a tough time at defending their position upstairs right now. Well, they do take down shit on my chest. That's a scout gone. So, I, they have a charge. Oh, actually, popped really early again. This is that crazy aggressive defense coming in from that so rando, taking down DJC from behind, and they took advantage of the fact that their opponents just did not have. Um, oh, this is good though. So Big AC is able to keep his opponents off the point there with the stickies, and so it didn't even matter that that defense was all that aggressive. It is now tied right back up. The Dead Hand Gang relying on Big AC there to make a huge play, and so even though his team lost a lot of players um, to a weird, confusing play by that so rando, it didn't matter because Big AC was in the position that he needed to be to take that point. But yeah, the defense from from uh, that so rando is just something I have never seen before, especially not an intermediate. Uh, it does look like they are taking a really nice win at this mid-fight, and look at Ben, he's just like, no, you guys suck, I'm leaving. <laughs> he is already on his way back to last, uh, and that's going to be Memphis Vaughn probably dying as well. Oh, no, I think he might have used the equalizer to get away. He's going to have to deal with a couple scouts, though, and no, there you go, that's both the scouts doing a pincer movement on him, getting flanks, and that means that that's a rando. It looks like they will go up very quickly here. They lost their med, but they will get this second point, and we'll see whether the Dead Hand Gang can successfully defend their last. Anyway, I'm liking the strategy in this game. This is, uh, these teams look like both of them have practiced a bit. Uh, I think that that Sarando team has practiced that, that defensive strategy a lot. And maybe they haven't. Maybe they're just, like, super coordinated and they're an awesome team or something. But it seems like every time they notice a tiny little chink in their opponent's armor, they exploit it to get behind and do some crazy stuff, whereas their opponents are kind of just sitting on last and waiting to be pushed into. And they're using some interesting players, like Memphis Vaughn is always on the heavy. Uh, Justin setting up, is he setting up a sentry beneath the point down here? I think he's looking for a position. Yes, he is. And it is going to be level two, so he really does not want his opponents coming down here. And where is that set up? It is, oh, that is such a weird position. So if his opponents try to come down here, they are going to encounter a very weird, oh, sick, our lines the new favorite pyro of the month. Technosex tried to jump in and force an uber out of Ben, and our lines was just like, ha ha, no. Beautiful reflect kill there. And even Memphis Vaughn is just like, yeah, man, you are rocking. So, uh, nobody can say that the Pyro is a no-skill class. Nobody can say that, because if you can successfully predict your opponents doing that kind of rocketry and reflect, like, that crazily, you got some skills, man. You got some skills. So we pretty much just get to wait to see how that so rando pushes in, because that is kind of how the Dead Hand Gang is playing. They're playing a very passive defense, saying, nope, you get to push into us, and once you do, we are going to meet you with overwhelming force. The heavy kind of popping out just to do a little bit of spam. Technosex immediately taken down again. And that's so rando can just walk away. Uh, they only waste one player at a time. Memphis Vaughn is actually pushing really far forward. There we go. <laughs> Incoming! I know. We, we know, Heavy. We heard you the first time. But, uh, yeah, no, Memphis was pushing up really far forward there. Kind of wants to get some heals. But he's got to be careful about taking too many heals when he's not in a crit heals situation. Because it's going to take a long time to get a Heavy up to full over here. A long time. And every time he takes damage, that just means another eight seconds of him taking a long time to get healed up. But he is going to do that right now. He's going to try and keep opponents from jumping in towards his medic. <laughs> not sure... What is going on with Rando? <laughs> so we totally missed that, but they are going to go down beneath, and they are going to run into the sentry. So they do take that down. Oh, they haven't even popped the Uber yet. I thought they had, so my bad. Uh, it's going to be that so Rando pushing up beneath the point, and that sentry hardly did a thing. Uber is just now popped, and it is popped for the counter on this heavy as well, wearing his little party hat. So cute. And yeah, that's so rando needs to get away. They are going to lose their... Oh, no, they didn't lose their heavy. Whoa, that's so rando. Getting rando to come in and deal some crazy damage. And that heavy medic combo is still underneath the point. Manages to get out there and capture it. I thought for sure they were going to get owned. But rando came in and just dealt crazy damage to the players in the point. That was probably part of the strategy. Come to think of it, on offense, uh, the rando team said, Okay, no, what we're going to do is we're going to bring a heavy medic underneath the point. We're going to pop an uber. We're going to force our opponents to dump an uber player onto that point. And once that point has players on it, then everybody else can come in and focus them down. And it was just so beautiful that they had a heavy and medic two really highly defensive players that you need for your defense just standing on the point waiting to get 
blasted to smithereens, and that is what happened. So that's so Rando looking really solid right now. But Dead Hand Gang gets a couple of kills out here. Kapow gonna have to try to back away, but he is uh, he's in a little iffy position here. Can he get away from this? I think he can actually. Good pickup by the medic Trekkie, and uh, Kapow will retreat. So at the very least, they had some good dodging and good uh, retreat capabilities. Right now, though, the Ubers are even, the players are not. So with that new uh, that new respawn, I think everything will be even. But can Rando defend the second point? They're going to pop the Uber, but look at how alone they are right now. It is just two players here. Uh, maybe three. Did they have a scout over here? Maybe they did. But yeah, that body block right there looking pretty good. And uh, whoa, actually, Dead Hand Gang losing almost everybody. I am surprised by this because I would have thought they were going to great position after that Uber, but it turns out that's so Rando getting a complete wipe out there, so a lot of action probably happened there on the flank that we did not catch, but pretty much uh, it was just Trekkie and Rando pushing in through the flank, and then, well, I'm sorry, through the choke, and then everybody else probably came in through the flank and wrapped around, which was a pretty good strategy, so, so far, that's uh, Rando in a big position to take this round as well, and that would put them into the victory, I think. Uh, right now, it is, of course, 4-3. to three. Yeah, 4-3. to three. So Dead Hand, wait, Dead Hand took a round, and I don't even remember when that was. I'm confused. Um, sorry, I'm a terrible caster. But that's so Rano going to push in. And pretty darn soon we might see the end of this game as uh, they do lose one scout, but they are starting to do some damage. Oh, they've actually lost Kapow as well. That's a huge deal. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to take this point now. And Loronix and Technosex, the only one left alive. Uh, can they get this capture? I do doubt it, as now it is just Loronix, and he gets slapped up against the wall with a pill. And these are not the good kind of pills. These are the suppositories. So it's uh, it's looking pretty good right now for the Dead Hand Gang. They might be able to push back out and tie this up, but they've got to push across the entire map. They've got an Uber advantage, so they can get at least out to mid if they don't make too many mistakes here on positioning and they don't run into sticky traps. And right now, Kapow making a mistake on positioning. He gets taken down straight away by Justin, who just barely dodged each one of those pills. Like an expert. This guy knows what he's doing. And is that, that's not the normal hat. That's a, is it like a, I don't even remember. Anyway, it's a backwards cap because wearing caps backwards screams awesome. Uber is popped, forced maybe for the Dead Hand Gang, but they are going to get uh, the second point here. Taking down Rando who tried to jump in. Medic in trouble, but Ben does manage to dodge that. So now that there is a two-player advantage, um, are we going to see the red team push in? They're actually kind of hurt right now, so maybe not, but no, they are going to come in. Memphis Vaughn gets taken down right away. Both scouts on the low ground. Our lines is down, and there goes Justin as well. They do force an Uber out of Trekkie, but the thing is, that's so Rando actually going to jump up and say, no, you know what? Now that we've had our Uber force, we actually have to push out, and they do. They push out and really have no problem at all cleaning up the rest of the Dead Hand Gang's team. So the aggressive defense, once again, for that Sorando working out very, very well. And now they are going to push straight back out to mid. So um, once again, it seems like on Gully Wash, once you get owned on that last point, you lose all your players, you pretty much are going to lose at least two points, potentially three, if something like that happens and Justin comes out to kill Technosex, though. Um, on the sniper, Justin, of course, an incredible sniper. So he's gotten one kill already, but now that his opponents know that he's on the sniper, we're probably not going to see him do as much anymore. He is kind of situated back here on the point. Spots a scout. Can't quite get that shot off. Oh, I, I guess maybe he got a body shot there. Going for the medic. Can't hit Trekkie. And now they are in trouble. Got to run back to their last point. Trekkie already has the Uber. They're going to push him with that right away. Sounds like there is a pyro once again. That's going to be Memphis Vaughn this time on the pyro. And Memphis, if you recall, was the one who got the wicked nasty reflect kills on... Uh, gravel pits back during land, which was just insane. But there you go. It doesn't matter. It's going to be that so rando winning the game 5-3. to three. So, thank you guys for watching very much. This has been an awesome cast of Intermediate. Well, it's been an awesome game of Intermediate. I don't know if it's an awesome cast, but awesome game of Intermediate. I was glad to cast it, and I am glad that you guys are watching as well. Do stay tuned, do subscribe, and uh, not just here, but over on XTV. Anywhere competitive TF2 is played, pretty much. Uh, Teamfortress.tv, of course, a wonderful site to check out all of your favorite players doing their streaming. And I hope a lot of these guys start streaming, too, because even uh, even intermediate scrims, you know, you might not think, oh, well, they're not invite, but we have just spotted some incredible play from these guys. And I would not be surprised to see these teams in invite next season, assuming, of course, 
that they stick together, which is you know, it's not always uh, easy for them to do. But we'll find out, man. We'll find out. And I definitely want to keep covering them for the rest of the season because awesome, awesome games.